Hi guys, welcome back to my new video and today in this video we will learn how to make a website header using HTML and CSS. On this website design you can see a video in the background. In the center you can see one text, one search box and some featured category icons below the search box. We will learn to make this website design step by step using HTML and CSS. So let's start this video. Here I have this folder and in this folder I have one index.html file, one style.css file and one folder with some images and one video. And this folder name is media. Now I will open these files with the text editor. So let me open my text editor here. So this is the HTML file I have added basic HTML structures and this one is the CSS file where I have added margin padding font family and box sizing. In the HTML file, I have added this link tag to connect HTML and CSS file. Next, we will add the code in the body tag. So here we will create one div and let's add the class name header. Now we will add the CSS properties for this header. So write this class name here in the CSS file. And for this one, we will set the height and width. After that, I will add padding 0 and 8%. Then let's add the background. And this is the background color. And position, it will be relative. After that, I will open the HTML file with web browser. So now you can see the dark color on the complete web page. Let's come back and in the HTML file, in this div, we will add one nav. And in this nav tag, we will add one image. It will be for the logo, you can see. In this folder, we have this logo.png. So I will write the folder name media slash logo.png. Let's add one class name for this image. So the class name I am adding logo. After that, we will add ul and li and anchor tag. Here we will add the navigation links. So the link text is home. Let me duplicate it and I will change the link name. So the name is courses. The next one is reviews. And let's write the last one, contact. After adding this, I will refresh the website and you can see the logo and these links on the web page. Let's come back and we will copy this tag nav, write it here in this CSS file. For this one, we will set display flex and align items, it will be center. Then justify content space between so that we will get the logo in the left side and navigation links on the right side. You can see links in the right side. Let's come back and copy this class name logo, write it here. For this logo, we will set the width. It will be 140 pixel. Let's come back and in this UL, we will add one class name. So I'm adding the class name nav links. Now just copy this class name. For this one, we will add the CSS. So in this one, we will add the padding of 28 pixel and zero. Let's add this class name again, then write li. For this list, we will add display inline block and margin 0 and 15 pixel. Again, copy this and write a. For this anchor tag, we will add text decoration none and color, it will be white. Then let's add some padding. It will be 5 pixel and 0. After that, you can see these menu in the horizontal style. Now we will add the hover effect on this menu. So just come back and copy this one, then write after. Here we will add content, it will be empty. Then write background, I will add this color code. Then we will add the width, it will be 100% and let's add the height 2 pixel. After that, I will add the position absolute. It will be at the bottom 0 and left side it will be 0. And in this A tag, we will add the position relative. After applying this, again refresh the website. And you can see one underline below this links. Next, we have to hide this underline and it will be visible when we will take cursor. So just come back and copy this one. And here we will add hover, then write after. Here, let's add the width 100%. 
and come back to the after here here we will add width 0 and let's add the transition width 0 0.5 seconds after applying this again refresh the website and you can see this line whenever we will take cursor over any menu link so this hover effect is working fine next we will add one button at the end of this links so just come back to the html file and here we will add one more li and let's add the text sign up and i will add the class name btn now we will add the css for this btn before that you can see it is over here it is in black color that's why it is not visible so just come back to the css file write this class name btn and for this one we will add the css properties like background after that we will add the color and it will be white color then let's add some padding i will add 10 pixel and 30 pixel and border radius it will be 3 pixel let's add cursor pointer after that again refresh the website and you can see this button looks good after completing the navigation part we will add some content in the center of this website so just come back and after this nav tag here we will add some space and i will add one div with the class name content here let's add one title in h1 tag so the title i am adding learn anything online after that i will create one form with the form tag and in this form we will add one input box type will be text and let's add the placeholder enter keyword after this input box we will add one submit button so this is the button tag with the type submit and the button text is find course after that refresh the website you can see this text and these input field and search button let's come back and copy this class name write it here and for this one we will add the position absolute then let's add the left 50% and top 50% then we will add the width it will be 90% and maximum width it will be 900 pixel then let's add the transform translate minus 50% and minus 50% so that this content div will be in the center next we will add the text align center and color it will be white after adding this you can see everything in the center next we will add the css properties for this title which is in the h1 tag so write this class name and write h1 for this title let's add the font size i will add 65 pixel and i will add the font weight 600 and let's add some margin from the bottom 40 pixel now you can see the increased font size for this title next we will add the css properties for this form so come back and here we will add the class name content then write form tag and here let's add the background it will be white and i will add some padding 10 pixel and border radius it will be 8 pixel then write display flex let's copy it again then write input for this input field we will add flex once so it will use the entire available space then write border none and outline none next we will add padding 0 and 20 pixel then font size it will be 18 pixel after that refresh the website you can see the increased length for the search box now we will add css for this button so copy this again then write button for this button i will add the background this color code and let's add the color which will be white color and then write some padding i'll add 15 pixel and 40 pixel let's add border none and border radius it will be 6 pixel cursor pointer then refresh the website you can see this button looks good now we will move this text little down so let's come back and in this content we will add some padding from the top so i will add padding top 50 pixel now it is fine let's come back and in this placeholder i will add one icon so here i will add one icon code here you can search hex code html 
on Google and you will get different icons code. After writing this, you can see one pencil icon in this input box. Before this, text enter keyword. And now after this search box, we will add some icons and text in different columns. So after this form, we will add one div and let's add the class name. I'll add the class name category list and I will add another div in this div. So the class name I'm adding category. Let me duplicate it because I will add five small boxes. Now just copy the class name category list and for this one we will add display flex. Then let's add align item center and justify content will be center. Then we will add margin from the top 40 pixel. Now copy this class name category for the small boxes. For this one we will add width and height. It will be same which is 80 pixel. So it will be a square box. Then we will add background. Here we will add RGBA and this color code. The opacity is 0.15. Then let's add margin 0 and 10 pixel, 10 pixel from left and right. So you can see these boxes below the search box. Next we will add icons in these box and I will also add some text. So let's come to the HTML file and here we will add one image. It is the image file path media slash coding.png and after that we will add some text in p tag. So this is the text for this category web dev. Copy this one and add it in the other category box also. Write the different title and add different image. Similarly we will add different image and different text in all the small category div. In this one we will add this console.png file name and text is game dev. Then the last one is language.png and the text is language. Now in this CSS file write this category again then write img. For this image we will set the width. So let's set 25 pixel which will be very small. Now you can see these icons and text. Next we have to reduce the size of this text. So come back and in this category let's add the font size. Here I will add the font size 12 pixel. After that I'll add some space below this image. So I'm adding margin bottom 5 pixel. It is good. Next we have to align it vertically center. For that in this category we will add display flex and align item center. Then again justify content center and flex direction it will be column. That's it. Now you can see these text and icons are vertically center. So after adding all the content on this website we will remove this background color. So just come back and here in this header we have this background. So let me remove this. And now you can see the white background on this web page. Next we will add one video in the background of this website. For that let's come back to the HTML file and here in this header we have to add the background video. So in this header let's add some space and here we will add one tag which is video tag. And with this video tag we will add autoplay then write loop and let me add one class name also in this video tag. So the class name I'm adding back video. After that I will add muted and then write plays inline. Now within this video tag we will add source src and write the video file path. So the video is in this folder media then slash video file name which is video.mp4. Then we will add type video slash mp4. That's it. After adding this again refresh the website and you can see the video in the background but the alignment is not good. So for that use this class name and come to the CSS file. I will write it here and for this class name we will add some CSS properties like position absolute then write right zero and bottom it will be zero and min width it will be 100% and min height also 100%. Then we will add width auto and height auto and z index let's set 
minus 100. After that, if I refresh the website, you can see this background video position is perfect. But we will add some other CSS also that will make this video responsive for a small screen also. So come back and here we will add media. Min aspect ratio. It will be 16 slash 9. And here add this class name back video. And for this one, let's add width. It will be 100% and height auto. Let's copy this one, write it here. And here we will change it to max aspect ratio and width will be auto height 100% that's it. Refresh the website and you can see this website looks very good with the background video and all the contents on this website is looking perfect. If you like this video please share this video with your friends and help me to get the 100k views on this video within one month then I will make its second part also and I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and please like and share this video. Thank you so much for watching this video.